So we got a bunch of them in here. Ready to go. And a whole lineup. Hold still, hold still, hold still. From social media, I feel like people think that maybe I'm pretty normal. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, that one's so cute. I didn't feel like wrangling foxes today, but I usually don't have a choice, so. So it's just you and me. You, me, and 600 foxes or yep, something. We got them all loaded up and ready to head to Florida. And Tennessee. and Tennessee. We're using a rental trailer because our trailer is out of commission. As you can see, we're missing something kind of important. We lost an axle. Hi. So this is where we have the family groups. Hi. Oh, you're cute. They're all very, very timid. But we got them. Everybody all strapped in, all safe. Um, the rental trailer didn't have any hooks to hook ratchet straps, so... I kind of installed hooks on the trailer, but hopefully they don't mind. Maybe they won't even notice, but I didn't really have a choice. And these guys will be leaving at 10 o'clock tonight. We'll be leaving bright and early tomorrow morning to fly down and meet everybody there. Kayla's been in the bathroom for about 30 minutes now. And um, don't know what's going on, but I'm just gonna barge in there. Uh, okay. <laughs> This uh, is how I color my hair. Oh, you put poop in it? <laughs> yes, fox poop. I look, I know I look crazy. I look weird, but I promise this is just the phase. I have to go through this phase to look better. And my face is breaking out because I've been trying to use this new face cream and I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on either, but I don't <laughs> It's almost midnight and the next 24 hours are going to be crazy. So we're going to try to document it all without making it too long for you guys to watch. So, right now, I'm doing paperwork. Paperwork here, I got paperwork here, I got paperwork here, I got paperwork here, I got it here. I'm still not done, because I got it here. It took two hours. Okay. Did you make a mistake, possibly, and I had to find the correction for you? Yes. Okay. I know it was confusing, but it we got it figured out. She got it figured out, and I was hanging up some new security cameras, because we have to go cordless. Fozzie likes to destroy the cord. That one's still hanging in there, but and Russell, just barely. Store? Yep, Russell went to the grocery store because we were out of chicken for raw, so I gave him a business card and sent him on his way. Gary's in the garage waiting so we can get out of here. Cats are in that room. Wazzy's destroying more plugins. The cats are in there so Chi Chi can have some fun house time. We were just gonna go out and do the paperwork, but then we looked in Tilty's quarantine cage and uh, oh. And Ethan, of course, blamed Anubis, and I was like, no, no, that's far worse. It's gross. It was, so. Clean it! Our raccoon gets our leftovers, but tonight he's getting kibble with pumpkin something on it. <laughs> Tilty girl. Oh, I'm throwing away this whole towel. That's gross. Yeah. So we have the rig ready to go. Gary is here driving again. Thank you, Gary. This is Gary's 10th transport. Got a whole lineup. And Gary's about to head out on his way for about a 48 hour round trip drive. <laughs> Good luck and we'll meet you down there. Okay, guys. So, uh, Gary is on his way. And now Mikhail and I have a few stuff, uh, a few things to- You forgot to the fish with food. It's like almost midnight. Uh, I did forget to do that, yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, I also accidentally let the follow out of this Really? So now we gotta run around and catch Apollo? So we're even. Ugh. I know. I Well, Stevie's Well, I can microwave that. I can't microwave Apollo. <laughs> Remembered that I was filling the Fisher's water tank. Totally forgot it was filling. Probably overflowing now. And also very muddy, so I have to dig the garden hose out of the mud. So that'll be fun. Oh, yeah. Definitely full. Plus, doing a chore list for tomorrow and putting the foxes away for bed. Russell's in here chopping chicken for the foxes tonight. I'm over here mixing up some meds in turkey balls for the foxes to eat. She's not getting the flush tonight? Nope, just no flush stuff. tonight, just the, just the meds. There's one ear, and then she'll shake it out all over you. 
Hold still. Hold still. Okay. Hold still. It's okay. <laughs> she loves it. She's really enjoying her ear infection. Okay. Oh, oh. that's okay. I'll clean it off. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, now I give her a piece of chicken. Pretty Good. hungry, but I haven't had a chance to get groceries since we've gotten back from Florida and the fridge is looking pretty sparse. I guess it's uh, pasta sauce and pickles. Oh, hello. Continuing my, my things. Do this. Come here. Oh, there goes your phone. Here, this is going very smoothly. Every night before a trip, no matter how I feel and no matter how exhausted we are, we always offer Finnegan a walk. And here he comes. Okay. We let Anubis out now that you ate his food. Hi, Wazzy! Oh my gosh, you have a carrot! We didn't get much sleep, but we he have to get out of here. He did cuddle all night, and we are going to be late. All right. Oh, oh! Ah! <laughs> Leftover red lobster biscuits for breakfast. That's scary. It's a, it's a, it peels off, and then it looks great. Okay. I hope. I, I'll take your word for it. I don't even know if I kept it <laughs> on long enough. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is unnatural. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> See? Yeah, oh. I, I, I look color. It looks a lot better than it did, right? Yeah, that's okay. Your hair looks nice. Who did that? You did it. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Keith. Sit. Oh, good boy. No, it's okay. You don't have to go on your camera for this one. You go on my lap. Late for the airport, and of course, Michaela has to bottle feed. This is one <laughs> okay. So, every time before I leave, I always block Finny and I always bottle feed Anubis, regardless of if we're late. Yes. Okay, we gotta go. Oh. We're late, and Michaela has to say hi to Jagger. Oh, Jagger just Lucas scared Jagger, so I gotta say hi to him. Oh, okay. Hi. Okay. Bye, buddy. Oh my goodness, it's a boy. Okay. Michaela, remember when you yell at me for my time management? Oh, well, I, I wouldn't have. I gave up on time management like a year ago. All right, we are on the road to the airport. We didn't have a driver, and we don't have time to wait for an Uber, so we're just gonna have to leave the car at the airport, unfortunately. Kale's over there working. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we just parked the car at the airport. Uh, I need to let someone know where the car is because it's probably gonna be really expensive, so it'd be nice to get it picked up right away. This is the first time I've traveled without my service dog since I got her. And from social media, I feel like people think that maybe I'm pretty normal, but if you ever see me in public, I'm probably, I probably look very upset <laughs> because I'm overwhelmed or I have my dog in my lap and I'm sitting on the floor with my hands 
I'm on my face. Yeah, she's a terrible traveler. I'm just terrible out in public, and I feel bad for anybody who recognizes me and sees me, and I just look very upset. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay. She has the, uh, the RBF, but she doesn't mean to, because... She's just overwhelmed. I just I have extra medication for you to accommodate for not having my service dog. <sighs> Hopefully it just puts her to sleep. <laughs> and for those that don't follow her personally, Michaela is acoustic. She's on the spectrum, so. Autistic. It's the same thing, really. <laughs> <laughs> you doing okay? Nope. Is that is is that is that better? I got jackal poop on my sweatshirt. Oh, that's gross. But you have headphones on, so that's cool, right? You have you okay? I can't hear, <laughs> but I can still smell. Yeah. I took a poopy. Did you take a poopy? No, I washed the poopy off. Oh, I put the poopy out. This was the only time I wish they had the blow dryer thing, because I had to try to dab it with paper towels. That's disgusting. left her hoodie on the plane. I had to go back and grab it. <sighs> How you doing down there? I'm working. <laughs> We're just waiting for our ride. Should be here in just a couple minutes. Here's the here's the chariot. So we were driving to San Fox South and the van randomly shut off and now here we are on the side of the road. <laughs> so this is going smoothly so far. We are here, we just pulled up, and we've got work to do because there's foxes incoming, so let's get to it. All right, we arrived at Save a Fox South. I was super excited to see my baby, but she's sleeping right now, which uh, means that we're going to work really quick to get <laughs> stuff done. So we are setting up the quarantine pens for the foxes that are arriving here. Um, two of them are getting picked up by Gabby and Chris on Tuesday morning. The other ones are getting picked up by Shy Wolf Sanctuary tomorrow morning. So we're going to get the pen set up so they have a more comfortable place to go in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one's already got a house. And we got, I got a bed here. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So um, we have three quarantine cages, but what I didn't realize, if you look at the wire up there, that one is not quite completed yet. So that would be an easy escape. And I guess I'm just going to try to do that quick. Momo. Well, oh yeah, Momo. Momo. So Momo, uh, we recently did a video on her. She's in quarantine because she has seizures and uh, she's being medicated right now. But she's doing good. Hi, Momo. Hi. Hi, sweet girl. Oh, you so sweet, huh? What do my hands smell like? What do they smell like? I know it's not med time. You gotta wait like an hour and a half, and then you have more meds at 10. Okay? All right, well, Ethan is doing that part. I'm gonna get dishes set up in the quarantine pens, and then I'm gonna help him. I hope we get this done before the baby wakes up, because I, so I miss her. I know. I wanna see her right away. How long I do you know. think this will take? Well, uh, 20 minutes. Okay. I got that side stapled up. Michaela's doing some clipping. And I'm about to go to the next side. She's very happy to see us. Would you like to shake my hand? Yeah. Hello, baby. How do you do? Can you dance? Dance for the people. Dance for the people. <laughs> we try to not be on our phones around Freya, so we haven't she been even have to know. we haven't been vlogging, but um, we're gonna we're gonna do story time with Freya. You gonna help me read this book to Daddy? Uh, I want to read a book. Why you on a book? Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, he's whizzing on the chicken. Yeah. It's... Wazzy whizzes on the a dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he whizzes on the 
the bag. Wow, Freya, good job. You can read? That's really good. That's a good job. Wazzy whizzes on my hat. Yes. yes. Wazzy even whizzes on the cat. Wow, Freya, you're a smart baby. Wazzy whizzes on the Airplane. On the airplane. Yeah. Wazzy whizzes down the plane. What? what? Oh. <laughs> Wazzy whizzes on the great charts. Short charts. Wazzy whizzes on my great charts. Yes. Yeah. Oh High my five. Gosh. Nice job. Good job, Freya. Wazzy whizzing is very naughty. He should be going on the party. <laughs> Good job. Can I have a big hug? Big, big hugs. Aww. Wrapping up with some night chores. Momo, our little seizure fox, needs some meds. I'm going to have to hold this flashlight in my mouth. Oh, cool. <laughs> Oh, good boy. <laughs> She's tired. We're all tired. Man. It's been a long week. Oh, no. The treat bin is looking sparse. Oh. We need some treat donations. Help! <laughs> Alright, Michaela's putting the first yard to bed. Silky has, uh... A turd on his back, I guess? Okay, oh yeah, he does. He does have poop on his back. <laughs> Next yard of four foxes going to bed. <laughs> oh, he doesn't want to go to bed. <laughs> you need some help? Yeah. Alright, supposed to be going to bed, Juji. Michaela, you gotta move because you're blocking his, blocking his path. Juji. Did he go? <laughs> Alright, next yard. Moonlight and Rosaria. Yeah. Follow mom. I don't know if you guys can see all, all the eyes. <laughs> With our dying batteries, wait. Yeah. We don't oh, help. that doesn't help. Last yard of five foxes, and I think... They might, I'm trying to, they might actually already be in bed. Oh, they're moving. They're on the move. All five are in there? Cool. Oh, I think we can actually go to bed now. Oh, another, uh, a little surprise for people that uh, have tuned in this far. So this used to be our only vehicle in Florida, and this is what we would take to Home Depot. They and died. Yeah, and left us on the turnpike, <laughs> dead in the water. And finally, we got a big, big Pro Master. We need to get the um, the decals, yes. the vinyls. Let's save the fox decals. This so was everybody knows. Previously, an Amazon van, so it kind of had the piss kicked out of it. But I'm gonna get it in tip-top shape, and we'll be ready to haul all I'll the foxes and all the lumber. The you want to look at it, or you don't care? We're here. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh. How do you like it? Nice. It's way different than yeah. The other one. It's super long. Oh, I see what you mean. It's already got the parts. Yeah. yeah it got a little kicked a little bit. There's some damage in here, as expected. It's good thing you know a thing or two. Yeah, it needs some love, but I know how to do all of it, so. But these shelves. Yeah, you're a good daughter. Oh. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so, we could put, like, cheetahs. We could, like, transport uh, cheetahs. Like, a cheetah. We could transport a bear in here if we wanted to, right? We should probably go to bed. Right? Because now you're talking well, crazy. Okay, couldn't we though? <laughs> if you like reinforce it? I like, mean, hypothetically. They could like, rip through like, that. Hi I'm saying hypothetically, if you reinforce it, could we transport a bear in here? Well, I would not want that partition blocking, being the only thing between me and a bear. If you, I said if you. Mega reinforced, yes, this could handle so, a bear. So hypothetically, a bear could be transported in this? Yes. Cool. So we're going to make sure everything's checked off. We're good. We're good. Flashlights. Animal fridge got restocked today. Yeah. Look at that. So many fresh. But we're out of treats. Uh oh. So we need treats. 
Alright. Can we can go to bed now? Okay, Ethan is sleeping. It is like four thirty in the morning. The foxes the next group of foxes. I don't know what's going on, I'm tired. Foxes are coming. So I'm just sitting here coloring one of our mini fox books until they get here. Because I know if I go to sleep, I'm not going to want to get back up. So. All right, transport arrived. We have them in our wire screened in porch. These are the two going to Shy Wolf tomorrow. And this is one of the ones staying here at Save a Fox that we will get situated in the next few hours. It's uh, 5.30 a.m. right now. So these guys just gotta wait a few more hours till they get to their to final destination. <laughs> the three foxes going to Gabby and Chris are in their quarantine cage. Hi! What do you guys think? What's going on? You are the most beautiful burgundy fox I am probably have ever seen. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, beautiful. I think the other one is hiding behind the box back there. Hey, are you doing good? You doing okay, little friend? More space than you're used to? Hi, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna bring out some toys for you guys. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay? Things are even gonna get better. This is just your holding pen. Okay, you guys get a ball. Hi. You've never seen one of these before. What the heck is that? Hello. Oops, battery's low. No, yeah, you're not coming out, but you get a ball. What the heck is that? Kind of close in the dark. That's interesting. Don't be scared, it's not going to hurt you. Whoa, what is that? Yeah, I know, it's suspicious. You'll get used to it. Aww. There you go. So the boy usually just likes to walk right in. This one's kind of... There's one. These two are off to Shy Wolf in Naples, and I believe we only have three left from a full van, so all empty in there, all empty in there, and we're almost done with this transport. It took a little longer than expected, but we have the quarantine cage all wrapped up on the upper side, and it's time to get our little foxy friend in here. All right, buddy, you ready to come out for just temporary home, so. Is it a boy or a girl? I think she said boy. Okay, I guess I'm not even sure. She's also half awake this morning. Yeah, <laughs> didn't get much sleep. 
There they are behind us. So we're here at Save a Fox South. We're here with there's Michaela. Hello. And uh, yeah, so here's the little foxes. I don't think I've ever seen a brown fox. <laughs> no, I've never seen one like that either. I've yeah, we've had so she's a burgundy too, the one that's over in this kennel. But he is the darkest burgundy I've ever seen, and apparently it's called like a burgundy copper. So yeah, he's he's phenomenal. And those <laughs> eyes, those eyes really <laughs> pop up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Got you>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one's so cute. She was thinking about it. I guess she might have scruffed though. <laughs> She's a wannabe alligator. <laughs> <laughs> for the easy way. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, you're gonna be spicy. Am I gonna need the gloves for you? Hi, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use gloves for you. <laughs> Here you go. Gave me that quick sass. Yep. Yeah. All right, safety precaution. Safety first, boy. Sorry. I really have to like me. I misgendered you. Honestly. Come here. Okay, we got a spicy one. Glad <laughs> <laughs> you used the gloves. <laughs> Woo! Okay. She's one is always on her. <laughs> her from like day one and she's like the sassiest fox she doesn't want anyone to touch no. her even though she had so much hands-on interaction sometimes it's just their personality oh it's a hot crazy scale <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. yeah she's so beautiful she's like one of the most beautiful foxes Okay, everybody, it has been a couple days since we did the 36 hours of life as a rescuer. I'm here with Piper right now, and I just want to thank you all if you made it to the end of the video. Definitely, if you made it to the end, <laughs> please comment below. Let us know if you like these vlog videos, and we will make more of them. And just a huge shout out to all of our volunteers and all of our fans and all of our staff members. During that spam of time, we didn't have a ton of volunteers, but I do want you guys to know that we do have a ton of help and we are grateful for everybody who helps make this happen. If we didn't have, you come back to me, you're supposed to be part of my video. If we didn't have as many volunteers, and staff members that we had, we'd never be able to do everything that we do. So thank you to all of our supporters, and I hope you guys have a very foxy day.